everyone. everyone. Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are well, having good week so far. We here at Yoseka are all still waiting for our Hobonichi. <laughs> I know this is getting really old really fast, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that is the latest update. We're Today is Monday that we're right. filming this. And on Friday, which was like the last business day, we've been calling DHL every day. And the last update that we got was that we would get the shipment today. So we were all expecting it to come in today, and we called today, and, and now they're saying tomorrow. So uh, I made a yeah. joke earlier that Neil has more white hair because of this experience. Yes, I do, every day. <laughs> every day he sprouts 10 more white hairs. So um, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. They're gonna be here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you know it's a big order, and the update today was that they're trying to keep it all together, apparently, to deliver at one time as opposed to delivering it in pieces. Yeah. So it's a good thing, I guess. We're kind of just like we wish it would get here already, as right. I'm sure many of you are as well. We're very eager and like anxious at this point to start on every one's orders yeah. and I don't know I'm getting a little sad because I see lots of people receiving their Hobonichis already and I just with every one of those that I see I just feel so bad that we haven't even gotten ours here yet to yeah. send out to you all so uh, I don't know my deepest my deepest, most sincere apologies. I feel so sorry for the delay. Many of you have reached out to us patiently yeah. waiting on your order and we really, really, really appreciate that. It means so much to us that you're trusting us with your planners. I do want to clarify because some people have messaged and said, basically asked us like, is there a chance that I won't get my planner? Oh. So I want to clarify that there's no chance. If you place your order with us, for Hobonichi, you will get your planner. The shipment is in New York. It's so yeah. close to us, it's unbelievable. We received our full order of planners from Hobonichi, so we'll be able to fulfill every single order that we received for a Hobonichi planner. So rest assured, the order is simply delayed, but we yeah. will 100% be fulfilling all of the orders and there's no chance that if you place your order with us that you might not get your planner. Yeah. That's not going to happen. The, the event goes like, I think the company, Albonichi, wants to make sure products arrive right before the release date. They don't want things right. to arrive too early. Right, because there's a chance of leakage and things right, like that. Right. Yeah, so I, we were supposed to get it like just a couple of days before September 1st. So then it delay, you know, Labor Day and et cetera. Yeah. yeah, again, thank you all so much for being so patient. And I promise as soon as we receive them, you'll you'll get an update from us yeah, <laughs> as well. Right. You'll yeah. know. So that's the Hobonichi news. Yeah. Other planner news is we have, I don't know, last week we did a big planner update. We're now accepting pre-orders for Take yeah. Note. We're now accepting orders for PAL planner. That's a big one yeah. that we got lots of inquiries about. We recently also sort of soft launched <laughs> the fact that we're gonna carry Jibun Techo. And so a lot of people have been asking us about when Jibun Techo is coming yeah. and we're working on those products now actually. So you'll see them coming soon to the website and they'll be available to order soon as well. Mm -hmm. So those are all the planner updates we have for this yeah. week, I believe. We have something big coming. Yeah, we yeah. also have a big project that we've been working on since the beginning of the year. Right, right. And that's a hint actually yeah, yeah. that it's been worked on since the beginning of the year. Oh, what is that hint? <laughs> oh, because okay, yeah, yeah sure, it's a hint. Sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, think about the beginning of the year. What's the beginning of the year? What do you mean? <laughs> 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 I'm acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking you about. You're making me feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what that hint is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, you we have. Uh, yeah, we have. Um, because the delay of Hobonichi, I think. Do we describe it last time? No. It's like having a final that got delayed. Oh yeah, I I think I don't know when yeah. I made that joke, but yeah. 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 It kind of uh, that's really what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, you know, it get 
your final kids getting pushed back. Yeah, and it's like you're grateful you have more time to prepare, right, right. but at the same time, you're like, I just want to, just want to do it, you right, know. Right. And you can really start other things. Yeah. Kind of like that's kind of how we feel right now. Right. <laughs> so, but we do have something exciting coming up, and yeah. it looks great. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> it yeah. looks really cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah, okay. Other than that, what's going on in our lives this past week, Neil? Um, what's going on? <laughs> Do you want me to talk about Jacob? I don't know. I thought we would share. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jacob started his first day of school. Yeah, his, fir- his first day of 3K, which is like preschool right. here in New York. And it's like the first time he's in school five days a week because he's been doing daycare part time. Yeah. And yeah, it felt like, it felt like a milestone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did a video, got inspired by another video um, of a dad asking his daughter uh, like every year until <laughs> she like started working. And the video goes like, oh, before the school starts, this is your first day, what do you want to be? What do you want what to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. Or, uh, so I started that. Uh, yeah, but what did Jacob say? <laughs> Jacob said he wants to be a Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> did you get that on camera though? Yeah, yeah, did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to remember to ask him next right, year. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Cute. Like, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do it for every year. <laughs> but this, he wants to be Spider Man. He wants when he to grows be Spider Man. Yeah. It's a very lofty goal. <laughs> I don't know how to break it to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're very proud of Chico for starting 3K, yeah. and I was having Amazing. lots of emotions all week about it, and I'm glad that he started 3K because I was feeling anxious about it up until yeah. until until he started. But it's going great. It's going yeah. great. So yes, yeah, so that's the updates. And then this week we do have some newly added stationery. Yeah. We have some new Uniball One pads. Very cute. Yeah. These are summer 2024 colors. So we're a little bit behind getting them here in the US. Yeah. They were released for the summer in Japan. And it's a set of six colors with Uniball One. You always get 0.38 and 0.5 in the colors. I love that they do that. It's like so considerate, even though they do so many, <laughs> so many colors. Right. There's the color. <laughs> There's the colors. So they're very like summer, light, warm colors. Um, they're called Puppy, Cotton Candy, Morning Glory, Goldfish yeah. Bowl, Kitten, and Sheep Cloud. So these are very cute. And the set so it's very is very cute. cute. Yeah. I feel like they always make their sets very collectible. Yeah. So yeah, that's the new Uniball one. And then other than that, we have a lot of things from Midori. I figured I would share these because it's planner season. All right. So people are yeah. like thinking about planner accessories and yeah. things like that. Did you bring the, the brass one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. do you want to talk about that one first? No, we can talk about all of them together because they're all kind of related. Okay, so yeah. we have Nijori sticky notes. Yeah. These are like to-do list sticky notes and like little tab sticky notes. They're very cute. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god, I'm still getting used to this, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, save the that best one cute. for last. <laughs> and they have this their design so you can you can you can stuff it inside oh. the planner oh yeah. okay okay very cute midori 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 genius genius yeah they um <laughs> like every year they, they they always come up with something that just makes sense yeah yeah like how to use all their things together right and then these are planner stickers so like they're miniature so they fit perfectly in like the monthly grids of your monthly block planners so there's all these themes this is like bread this is wildflower this is cafe this is shopping these are like emoji ones so there's like a cat emoji and like a bear emoji and then there's a cat, small cat, and large cats. And then small dogs and large dogs. These are so cute. And I just want to point out that we were talking about how Midori is so good. 
And the reason I brought, I brought these planners here. These are not newly added, but these are Midori Pocket Diaries. Yeah. They come in A6, B6 Slim, a B6, B6 Slim. There's like a variety of sizes. Right. There's even like a ring system version mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. So you can get it for like whatever planner you use. Yeah. But I just love that the styles and the themes match the stickers and the sticky notes. So like say this one was really popular, this dog one, people love this adorable yeah. dog. And you can kind of like inside, Midori makes the, cute, the cutest planners. Like there's illustrations throughout inside. But say you got this one, then you could also get like these stickers to use inside. And then you can get these sticky notes to use with it and clip it wow. in the cover. That's what Neil was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like all, you know, it's all How a did thing. you pick all the dogs so fast? Well, because wow. I was prepared. This is, this is so cute. I wanted to show everybody I was ready. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I just love that. Like yeah. it's all the cons consistent like illustration style. So you yeah. can really kind of like build out your whole plan or plan for the whole right. year yeah. if you wanted to. I think um, I think someone someone at Midori is really like very thoughtful. Yeah. Designing like more than one person, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, a group of designers yeah. coming together. I remember one year they made calendar, uh, these calendars. Oh, he's gonna talk about how. Okay, I know what I'm, he's gonna talk you about know, the clip. You know what I'm the talking magnet about? Magnet clips. I already know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's such a so nerd for have. when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> this planner. Well, not planner. This is a calendar. So these, this is so you can put it on the table. It opens up, so like a stand. Yeah. Yeah. Then Midori, <laughs> like one year they made this. Uh -huh. Actually, they made this for a couple of years. And then one year they came out with a holder here that clip to the ring so that you can hold a pen or pencil there. Yeah. Because that's what people want. People want to write something very fast. Mm -hmm. And then another year they came out with a sticker sheet that you can also clip into these rings. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wasn't so. there a magnet version? I thought you were going to talk about the magnet version. There's a magnet version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, genius. Yeah. <laughs> Neil and I get excited about different things in the dictionary world. I'm like, these dogs are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so those are some new Midori planner yeah. accessories. And then we also have these new Midori calendar templates. Right. So these are like kind of like stencil templates that come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. Right. You can create like a little monthly plan for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then on the front of it, they have like these circles and different shapes in different sizes so that you can do sort of like bullet journaling, kind of like trackers and things like that and color code them. And it comes in three different sizes for whatever like size planner or layout you're trying to do in your planner. And I thought a really cool feature of this is that the back of this stencil is non-slip. So it's not, the, yeah. the front of it is brass, so it's like very glossy and shiny. But if you're using it functionally, like when you lay it down on a piece of paper, if it's brass, it's going to slip and slide everywhere. So right. they made the back of it non-slip so that it just stays in one place. And that's such a considerate detail. I know. This one is tiny. Like you have to use a very fine pen for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a heads up. <laughs> if you're using these stencil, like the small one, you really need a very fine pen. Those are the Midori things. Yeah. And then last but not least, we have some new pens from Lamy. Wow. Yeah, these are new Lamy All Stars. Yeah. The two colors are autumn pink yeah. on the top and sage on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I really like these. They come in fountain pen and rollerball pen yeah. versions. <laughs> and then they have these sort of clear grip sections, yeah. which are cool. And they have like the black uh, hardware. So the nib on the fountain pen is black. And the clip is black. The clip is black. Yeah. And then the finial. I like the finials. The finials. These finials are cute. Oh. 
Like, oh. I like the colors of these and how matte, oh. pastel mm -hmm. matte they are, I guess. Yeah, well done. Well done for these colors, yeah, I think, Tammy. And they're very autumnal for, like, the fall season that we're entering right now. Yeah, so those are the newly added stationery from this week. I think that's about it for this episode of Catching Up, but I did, I'm realizing that I did forget to mention one thing, which is that this is gonna sound so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, but um, we haven't received our Hobonichi shipment order yet, but we're actually, Hobonichi sent us an email like a couple of days ago saying yeah. that they're now accepting orders for like restock. Right, right. So here we are, we are actually preparing our restock order of Hobonichi because we have sold out of a few different styles, like yeah. of the most popular covers. You know what's interesting is that the Hobonichi cousin is getting more and more popular every year. And that is one that we're also sold out of, which we'll yeah. definitely get more of. We're getting a lot of questions about that. And I personally think that's interesting because I'm switching to the cousin this year. Oh. So I'm like, oh, yes. I'm one of many. <laughs> I'm one of many, you know, like, I don't know what's going on. But yeah. I like to think that like the Hobonichi audience is just like kind of maturing over time. Mm -hmm. And we're all just like, need more space. <laughs> so we're moving from A6 to A5. Uh -huh. But I did just want to mention that we are placing our Hobonichi restock order. So if you weren't able to order your Hobonichi from us, or in general, if you weren't able to order a Hobonichi from anywhere, they'll be back, like right. wherever your local shop yeah. is, if it's through us or if it's through somewhere locally. And now's the time to ask about like whether, you know, your shop is getting it back because we're placing our order. We'll definitely get more of the popular covers that people ask us about right. and if you are very very eager to get a cover we ask that you email us and we'll note you down and yeah. we'll definitely let you know when we get that specific cover back in mm -hmm. so shoot us an email to support at yosekabox.com and we'll add you to our list of uh, people who are waiting on certain covers right, right, right. Yeah. yeah and I think that that is the last bit of Hobonichi news I was hoping the delivery would come in the right, middle right. of us filming this wait, and we'd wait, be like wait. wow the, the delivery is here it didn't yeah, happen yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it should be here tomorrow for yeah. our last uh, DHL update. Thank you all so much for bearing with us, for yeah. watching this episode. Let us know if you have home Nietzsche questions, planner questions, whatever questions you have. And right. thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.